Hi friends, I'm Sijoy and I'm back with my calculator tutorials. In my previous video, I told you about the basics of number system and how to convert from any base number system to any other base number system without the help of calculator. I also told 7 golden rules needed for those conversions. Please watch that video that will strengthen your basic concepts about the number system and the conversions. And in this video, I will tell you about the mode 4 or basin mode of this calculator. To get into basin mode, press this mode button and 4. And this is your default base. By default, it's a decimal. To change it, press shift and these 4 buttons. This one for decimal, hexadecimal, binary and octal. So press shift and this x to the power button to get hexadecimal. And to change your source base, this is called source base, press shift and number 3, joystick down and press 1 for decimal, 2 for hexadecimal, 3 for binary and 4 for octal, 2 for hexadecimal. Now in hexadecimal number system, other than the number 0 to 9, there are 6 letters, A to F. How to get those? Press shift and these 6 buttons, this one for A, this one for B, C, D, E and F. To enter B, press shift and this button. Press equals to, so this is B in hexadecimal. To change it in octal, press shift and octal. Similarly, shift and decimal, it's 1, 1. Now, you can't enter fractional or ex exponential numbers in Bayesian number system. If a calculation produces fractional result, then the fraction part is cut off. For example, if I divide 5 by 2, it will produce 2. The so 0.5 is cut off. Now, to the conversion from one base to other three bases. Here, the source base will be same and destination base will vary. For example, 50, 15 decimal, 15 binary, 15 octal and 15 hexadecimal. Conversion number 2 from other bases to a specific base. Here the source base will vary and destination base will be same. Let's say destination base is decimal and conversion from hexadecimal to decimal. B2 is 178. Conversion from binary to decimal. Conversion from octal to decimal is 46. You can also perform arithmetic operations. You can perform arithmetic operations using the same base that is octal 7 plus octal 1 output is octal or using heterogeneous base that is octal 70 into hexadecimal A output in decimal. Let's do it. output is 560 in decimal. You can do this yourself. Next is logical operations. To get the logical operators, press shift and 3. 6 operators are there and or XOR, XNOR, NOT and negative. How to use this? I will tell you and the meaning of those. Number 1 is AND. One more thing, before doing any calculations using logical operators, don't forget to press AC each time. Number 1 and press shift and 3, press 1 for 1 and and change destination to binary. It will 1 triple 0. Why? Add means if both the numbers contains 1, output is 1 and if any of the number contains 0, the output is 0. So for this 0, output is 0, this 0, 0 and 0 and 0, output is 0. Next is OR. Shift and 3, number 2 or 11010. One, 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 the output is 11011. One, one. In OR, if any of the number contains 1, the output is 1. So here is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 1, and if you consider this 0, 0, 1, 1, that is 1. Next is XOR. Press 3, that is 0, 1, 1, 0. In, in XOR, if both the numbers are different, th that is 1 is uh, 1, another is 0, output is 1, and if both are same, 
for that case it will be zero next is ignore or exclusive not or four ignore one 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 it will be zero one zero one these four numbers because we are calculating using four and three bits so output is in four bit and these are becoming uh, ones because calculator are treating as uh, PBS numbers as zero. So the calculator is converting them. So just ignore this and get your desired digital number. And XOR is just opposite of XOR. Means if both the numbers are same, output is one. And if the numbers are opposite, then output is zero. And next is not. Shift and three, number five. Not. Not of one zero one zero. That is zero one zero one. The not means actually it produces one's complement. What is one's complement? One's complement is just reverse of each bit. So it's zero. It will become one. It's one. It will become zero. It's zero. It will become one. It's one. It will become zero. Next is negative. Shift and three number six. A negative top one zero zero one zero. It will produce zero triple one zero. Zero triple one zero. The negative produces two's complement of a number. What is two's complement? To, to get two's complement manually, scan the number from right to left and change all numbers before the first occurrence of one. So this is zero intact. This is one. This is the first occurrence of one. So this one will be intact. And after that, reverse all numbers. The, this zero will become one. This zero will become one. And this one has become zero. Now, other than the arithmetic and logical operations, you can perform mixed operations. Shift and three and one zero one one plus source decimal ten. Now, this is the logical part. This will produce one zero one zero. That is ten in decimal, and this is and we are adding another ten with that, so it will get de in decimal twenty. So in binary, it is this. Press destination, so it will become decimal twenty. You can perform your own mixed operations as you desire. So friends, this was my tutorial. If you like my video, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is the link www.youtube.com/suyn70 or suyn70. By subscribing, you will encourage me to upload more quality videos in future. Additionally, if you subscribe, you will be notified by an email whenever I upload a new video. You can also follow my blog at www.sujoy-tech.blogspot.com. So friends, I am signing off today. Till my next video, stay connected and thanks for watching.